The Chrysler 200 will set the tone for Chrysler. Kate Upton's washing cars for Mercedes-Benz, and on a totally unrelated note, we're getting mono. I'm Rory, it's Wednesday, let's do the news. Last week, Chrysler Design Chief Ralph Gilles said that the Chrysler 200 would inform the look of all Chryslers going forward in an interview with Ward's Auto. Or, oh, uh, we're actually just being told that it's the next generation Chrysler 200. Makes a lot more sense. Mercedes-Benz has seemingly figured it out. If you associate your product with Kate Upton, everyone on the internet has to cover it. It's actually a little known US law. So they've ponied up the dough and paid Miss Upton to appear in a video where she just stands around in a tank top while a bunch of dopes wash a front wheel drive CLA. That's it. Though we're told a longer version will appear during the Super Bowl. And here we are, just covering it, because that's the law. Finally, that thing about the mono, that's the BAC mono. It's the greatest lightweight track car to make the trip from Knife Crime Island to the good old US of A since the Lotus 7. It weighs less than 1,200 pounds. It's powered by a 280 horsepower Cosworth 4-banger, and the first US-built example made its US debut at Cars and Coffee in Irvine, California last Saturday. US distributor Sector 111 is currently taking orders for 2013, but they will not return my emails, phone calls, telegrams, or that ransom note thing I sent regarding sending one to AutoWeek for testing. Come on, guys, we got Kate Upton on the site. Think of the exposure you're missing out on. Anyway, that's what's gonna have to pass for the news today. We'll be back here tomorrow, but until then, check out our related videos on YouTube and at AutoWeek.com. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.